Hello class. In this lecture, we will learn thyristor commutation techniques. A thyristor is turned on by applying a signal to its gate cathode circuit. For the purpose of power control or power conditioning, a conducting thyristor must be turned off as desired. Turning off a thyristor means bringing the device from forward conduction state to forward blocking state. Thyristor turn off requires that its anode current falls below the holding current and a reverse voltage is applied to thyristor for a sufficient time to enable it to recover to blocking state. Commutation is defined as the process of turning off a thyristor. Once a thyristor starts conducting, gate loses control over the device. Therefore, external means may have to be adopted to commutate the thyristor. The different types of commutation are Class A commutation, also known as load commutation. Class B commutation, also known as resonant pulse commutation. Class C commutation, also known as complementary commutation. Class D commutation, also known as impulse commutation. Class E commutation, also known as external pulse commutation. Class F commutation, also known as line commutation. We will look into class A commutation and class F commutation. The circuit diagram for class A commutation or load commutation is as shown in the figure. For achieving load commutation of a thyristor, the commutating components L and C are connected as shown in the figure. Here, R is the load resistance. For low values of R, L and C are connected in series. For high values of R, R is connected in parallel with C. The essential requirement for both these circuits are the circuit should be underdamped. When these circuits are energized from DC, the waveforms will be as shown in the figure. It is seen that current first rises to its maximum and then begins to fall up to zero. When current decays to zero and tends to reverse, the thyristor turns off. Load or class A commutation is prevalent in thyristor circuits supplied from a DC source. The nature of the circuit should be such that when energized from a DC source, current must have a natural tendency to decay to zero for load commutation to occur in a thyristor circuit. Load commutation is possible in DC circuits and not in AC circuits. Class A or load commutation is also known as resonant commutation or self commutation. Class F commutation or line commutation. This type of commutation is also known as natural commutation. This can occur only when the source is AC. When an SCR is energized from an AC source, current has to pass through its natural zero at the end of every positive half cycle. Then AC source applies a reverse bias across SCR automatically. As a result, SCR is turned off. This is called natural commutation because 
no external circuit is employed to turn off the thyristor. This method of commutation is applied to phase controlled converters, line commutated inverters, AC voltage controllers and step down cyclo converters. A single phase half wave controlled converter employing line commutation is shown in this figure. The thyristor T is fired at firing angle equal to 0 degree that is when omega t equal to 0 and Vs is equal to 0. Load is resistive in nature. With 0 degree firing angle, the thyristor behaves like a diode. During the positive half cycle, the output voltage V0 is equal to the source voltage Vs and wave shape of load current I0 is identical with the wave shape of V0 for a resistive load. At omega t equal to pi, Vs equal to 0 and V0 equal to 0 and I0 equal to 0. Therefore, thyristor T gets turned off at this instant. From omega t equal to pi to 2 pi, thyristor T is reverse biased. For a period longer than the thyristor turn off time Tq. Here, Tc is called the circuit turn off time.